Okay, here we are. We're on I know I'm recording it. It's on record. We are recording. We are moving forward on Route 259 on our way to Gordonsville, West Virginia. Soon we will be arriving at the historic Kakapon restaurant where we hope to see my father, but we think he's probably already gone. This is my husband. Not a cow at all. He is doing all the driving, getting the van that we are going to steal. We're not going to get the van back. Love it out here. Love it. 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 Yes, out of the mountain, you can the Cacophon. There it is, Cacophon restaurant. Open. But we missed Dad. But knowing Dad, he probably has told the waitress in here to look for us. Something's gonna flip over. <laughs> I don't think it will. Was there. I'm a mess. You look pretty. <laughs> what are you kidding me? I'm the guy from Star Trek. Oh, that's it. Yeah, guess what? Put those things on your top of your head. West Virginia. And I thought I would take pictures. This is a kitchen that I'm in. My two favorite men are outside. I'm going to go on the back porch now. This is the back porch. We swing, swing the chair in the back porch. We're walking along the back porch. I'm going to my two favorite men in the whole world. Oh, there they are. My one favorite man with a rake, and my older favorite man. I was man. talking about the clothesline before you got here. Mom had a clothesline that extended from here, this end of the porch, all the way down to the barn. The barn that is no longer there. Just want you to know that's not crazy. There was a barn down there. This was, told him about the apple tree. I told him about the apple Yeah, you see the apple. Yeah. There was an apple tree right here where the bush is. They were good. They were green apples. They were very tasty. Down there is our rental van and Dad's Jetta in the new carport, which cost how much to make? Seven hundred fifty bucks, something like that. Seven fifty, too much as far as Dad's concerned. Could have been gravel. Go see. This is the backyard. Look at the whole backyard. This is all ours. This will all be mine one day. Right. This is my car. I'm taking the pictures with. And that's the big busy road now. Getting down the steps. Yeah. I got I have to dry my hair first. <laughs> and then I'll be ready. Mark is obsessed with getting the dead vines off the trees. This is where the the bird bath used to be right up there. She used to sit up on my grandma. The side of the house. The picture of Jimmy Triplett for me that you have. Right over here. Right the jelly. The jelly sandwich. Jelly sandwich picture. There's dad. He looks a little different. But same general idea. There's the house. 
the big green house. It is beauteous. In the whole yard, everything you see in this camera is bad. And Mark desperately trying, it was zooming in. Say hi, honey. Honey. Look at the camera. Schreiber. What is that? <laughs> Here's my husband pulling the weeds. He suddenly has an attachment to the yard. <laughs> oh, he's coming out of focus. <laughs> Mike. Oh, I mean, it's Mark. But he's obsessed out like Mike. All right, lady, let's walk around to the front. I know, you're dad. Yeah. That's right, I'm dad, I'm not whitey. One day I hope I'm inspired to do this at home. Yeah. I hope we have a home that has enough yard that you need to do it. <laughs> There's the front of the house. There's the front porch. Going around to the front. The anthill, part of the house here. Oh, look at this huge anthill. This, I'm going to zoom in. This is an anthill. We killed a bug up in a bee up in the um, in the attic. Can I tell you that Alan knew you were going to be here? She did. Trisha told her that you were going to be here. She had forgotten. She told me this morning that she had been told. Yeah. Well, I hope she knew I was going to call her. I would never come here without calling it now. Here is the front porch that was once cleaned by Patricia but is now dirty again. Here are the cushions. I think Elva Lloyd probably cleaned it by Patricia. And Aunt Katie, if you're looking down, we want you to know that we still put these cushions in every night. Every night. The number 715. 715 Harrison Avenue. Just remember. And here is the most beauteous front door. Oops, this isn't it. This is it. Oh. Once again, the glare. Okay. Dad's favorite seat. Dad's, Dad's favorite spot seat. right over there on the front porch. It's a very busy front road. Just come out of here as a, as a kid and jump that rail. Jump this rail? Automatically jump. My dad was a real daredevil. Real daredevil. Never fell. Never I fell. I had a lot of spring in my stuff. This is a bird's nest. Oh! All that bird's gonna be unhappy. No, I don't oh, think it's I been think here it's for a while. I told you, I told you, Mark, about Main Street store, and this was this was this point here, where where Dad had where we had a, a grocery bill that they they let us oh they let you slide increase let us slide for. I'm not sure we should narrate there or anything like that. Right. Yeah, we Which is Buck's house? The, the second one. Uh, and the third one also. Wait, this is now his daughter's house? This, the, well, they're cleaning up. They're doing a lot of work on it. They're, Buck's spending a lot of money on it. Well, Buck's doing some of these things for the kids. As he said, he gave uh, gave the house in South Elkins to, to Joe. He says, for love and affection. I guess this was a term that he used. That's right. the swinging bridge, swinging bridge. I'm sure they'll make some. This one's the uh, first ward school, another elementary school. 
This is where Tub went to. Yeah, Tub went here, yeah. yeah. Awesome. You, know, <laughs> you don't think I've heard this? I'm sorry, I should let you know. No, that's fine. No, you do it. That's great. Yeah. I wouldn't, I mean, I've said so that. So this one's closed down now. This, and they've just built a new one. But we were in it last year. We took a final walk through the old school. But we, we, we got there late even. That's how it. All the pictures that are already come down. I the basketball pictures on, on the wall and I, I'm going to get by a little. This is the house I would like to have. Like the Denny. Can you just pull into it? Oh, now it's a. Oh, now it has something different. Something what? Oh, it's got a sign on it. Pri oh. Scott Hill, private residence. That's oh. new since last year. Oh. They just put that sign on there. Maybe two percent. Maybe three percent. That wasn't easy. Probably with a high school. Oh, I think you're probably right. That's the answer. <laughs> but you like that? To get when, I was, when I was young. It's funny, Mary and I were talking about how you like it when you're young, then you don't like it when you're like college age, then you like it again. You start liking it again. If they're just whistling, if they don't say crude things, then you like it. Unfortunately, I'm sounds like that North Carolina experience made tomorrow pretty serious racist. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that'll happen. Okay, got awesome. a sale over here. You could you could probably get an extended talk with Buck about antiques. Probably good. Because he likes uh, he, he shops around for this thing. Now this is right near where, where this was is Aunt Lena's Aunt Lena house? Lift, this is it right here. This on the corner? Yeah, right here. This was my Aunt Lena's house. Wow. Oh, was, you want me to go back up? No, that's okay, right. I got it. And here's Wolf Farms, but now it's closed. Okay. And 110 Davis Street is the address, and this is the second house here, I think. This is Mom's house. So, if you want to get a picture of that. Well, my mommy grew up. Okay. I got it. Okay. Thanks. You want to meet my Uncle Homer? Is is Uncle Homer? He's around? You think? Yeah, I think so. Let's go out to the farm. Okay, Let's yeah, go out. Yeah, we don't. It's more important to me to go out there. Okay. I really like. Him. Club Club Talford when I was in high school and later. This thing? Yeah. Oh, up there. We had more, and we've had big bands at that place. Put in the green? Yeah, yeah. in the green, right there. Oh, yeah. We've had many happy times there. What about this is for? It's like a, a volleyball net almost, or a... Oh, oh, oh yeah, there's... Yeah, okay. But it seems like a funny place to play volleyball. Oh, there they are. There they are. This is mom, dad, Ray, and just... Most of our relatives are in Mont Rose. Yeah. Well, and actually, my grandpa Droppelman is buried in... Where's... What? Oh, you want to go by there? Good. Yeah. He's at a different one. We have two more lots here. <laughs> Actually, I think, there, I think there's one here. So somebody just put flowers on it. Did you do that? I didn't know. Probably Aunt Patricia when she was here. But Patricia was here a couple weeks ago. Two more plots here. But I want Dad to be buried in my road. I thought about that for a while, but I don't know. This, this is just a good okay. day. I used to say, well, now they've eliminated the school building. I can see Talford now. Yeah. Like Elliot Lawrence and some of those good times I've had up there. Don't die until you're 100, Dad, okay? Well, I'm not going for a while. Okay. Good. Sure, I'll, be, I'll be ready to go when I go. It'll be okay. All right. Just keep taking good care of yourself. Yeah, I will. 
I don't want to be. I don't want to be an old doddering man. Though. I, I know. But I don't, I don't like. I don't like seeing kids wheeling their parents around. You're not going to be wheeling. Yeah, I don't want that one. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, buddy. Boy. Tom's probably rolling over seeing all these ugly, like, fake things all over his grave. Hazel? Tom and I were on that varsity basketball together, and we had... Uh, we were playing at Buckhannon one year, and uh, Grizzly Baker, who was our librarian, uh, is this his brother? She, they asked. They asked if uh, Tub and I were brothers, and she says, "Well, what do they come on the floor?" And Tub weighed about two forty, and I weighed about one twenty-five. Is this Tub's brother? Tub's brother. No, that isn't the one. That's one. That's one of Tub's brothers. This is the one that was killed. The infantry guy, right? Yeah, but Tub. But June. Where's June? I'm looking for June. Wait. Here's another Donald K. White. That's that's it. Oh. So he's oh I think yeah, so he's yeah. buried back. Right. Hi Tub. You smoking down there? His, his brother who was and Tub was in Tub went in the service at the same time I did, roughly the same time. And he and he and he joined the reserve and he was called back in Korea and he was in foxholes over there. Uh. He was really in the fighting. So uh. Tub really went through it. He deserves to have that. And this is Tub, mother and father. Uh, but they're no relation, right? To, to, to us? To you? No, no, no relation. And here was that. He was the officer of Tub. He was very thin. June was killed in, uh, killed in action in Ayashima, as I remember. Somewhere in the field. He was a paratrooper. Very, very personal. So this one over here, it's a baby. Yeah, who's? June and Tub were closer than that. Uh, Joanne, daughter uh, of Oki and... Oki and Catherine, but then there's another dog here. Richard, Richard's uh, one Tub's older brother. Oh. Okay, no. Okay. Onward. Oh. I need to tell you all. Hot. Got him hot. I remember walking up here with Mom when and she was holding the Jeff's arm. Do uh, you, you remember that by chance? I don't. Yeah, Mom. That was in... That was in her last years too. I had the feeling that she didn't want to really want to be here that day. We're toting her around. We're at Montrose now. This is the cemetery. We've got a lot of relatives here. Jaegers, White, Poling. We got them all. One of the nine polling or ten polling children. She was a grandmother of the CEO of Ford Arrow Polling. This is my kind of cemetery. Not too much junk.
pictures, put those out there here. No problem. Hold on. Yeah, let's have, let's have lunch with you. Let's have lunch with you. Okay. Grandma and Grandpa, we're going to have lunch with you. If you don't mind. On the father. We're going to we're going to the farm up, up there. That's where we're going. I think we're Jonas in that. Bye. <laughs> I really want a vacation with them because Fran and Bruce really know how to take a trip. Like they just they do it right. Let's right. let stroll. Hey. Hi. Good to see you. Hey. It's, it's hard for you to see me, but you'll be able to see me when the film comes in. I'm in a red dress. How bad I can tell. <laughs> now, who are Jonas and Jane polling? They're, they're, the, they're, the, they're the polling parents. They're the non polling children, and they are the parents of them. But who were the polling? And the nine polling children. Now, how do they fit into you? Let's get the, down to the, it. Yeah. The polling. How the nine, nine polling children yeah. me? One of the polling children is my grandmother. Who is the mother of? Go ahead. Your, your five. Wait. Is the polling your mother's side? The yeah. family yeah. still? Yeah. Okay, so it's your your mother's. It's she your great grandmother, isn't it? This is my great grandma. Yeah. This yeah. is your. Yakers, I'm getting confused now. Okay. Grandma These guys... Jane, grandma, great grandmother Jane Pauling's daughter is Anna, my grandmother, who married Emery Yaker. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Emery Yaker, who is then the parents of Marty and Ma Marty, Sheffy my and Alda Yeager. Precisely. Later, white Marty Yeager. Not Marty Yeager White, mother of Harry Owens White. Right. Father of Cynthia Grace. And Kathleen Pearl White. And Kathleen Pearl. And the little boy that we need to know. And then here are more Pearling. Oh, Father. Clarence w. Uncle, Uncle Morgan was the youngest of the, uh, the Pearling children. Very handsome. There are pictures I've shown you of him. He's like yeah. a big tall, guy. Tall. One of the only tall members of the family. <laughs> I think quite a few of the Polings as well. Okay, Anna Poling is married to Emma Yeager. So I guess it's very, very hard for me to keep track of it. Yeah, I, don't I, have I, I think about them. Who are these Yeagers? Clarence Yeager and Louisa Yeager. Uh, I can't explain it. How do we have to tell you? Well, I'll ask her. Remember these names? I remember him. He died in 41. But Louisa was yeah, but was born in 71, 1871. Who else have we got? There are some whites out here, aren't there? I know, man. I thought there were. Maybe we want. This is not white. Mm -hmm. Here's another Poland child. Lula. Right? Lula was. Oh, boy, Lulu lived a long time. Mm -hmm. Oh, but Irvin is the poor one. Well, 85. Of the kids. These are the two who did not want to be buried together. We're sorry, guys. Oh. We would have never done this to you. Your kids really did you wrong. They did, they did you wrong, and they didn't leave you anything on your stone, on your marker. What a mistake. This one, 1910 to 1912. We had a lot of little kids buried out here. Uh, you know, because infant mortality was, you know. Back then, yeah. Yeah, back then. I mean, kids just died like crazy. I had to find my spiny horse. Theo Dickman. Kathy Keating and, and her husband have, there's a 
little girl buried in their basement. Ugh. Wait, here's a Digman dad. No, George and Amanda. Side of the family, the Curtis's. Curtis's? This is dad's side of the family. Really? Gilbert's grave and, uh, and to, to to Grandpa White's grave. And how does Russell Curtis fit in? Russell Curtis. Is, is he a nephew of your father? Is he a cousin of yours? Russell Curtis's mother. And I remember, I remember Vinnie when she, before she died, because I was, I was born in '28. She died in '35. But I remember as a kid visiting Grandpa White and knowing that Vinnie, who lived relatively close, was sick and was going to die. Is that print related to Dick print? There's another Maybe Digman. Some. Yeah, I saw that. Where you go? Yeah. 88. She really developed students. Don't speak incorrectly over the English teacher's grave. Sorry, Cleo. Yeah. I knew what I was saying. She was tough. People would, went to summer school to avoid her. <laughs> You're rolling. You're turning down there, aren't you, Cleo? I'm saying something like, like that. I used to. I was. She was uh, the Tiger staff leader, and I was on Tiger staff. And I picked up the mail at lunchtime from high school, walking home from high school, and uh, one day I forgot to pick it up, and Cleo said, uh, did I get any mail, Harry? No, you didn't get any mail today. And she somehow found out, I, I think she checked, or she checked, and she found mail there. I can't remember what, how I was penalized, but she realized that I had lied to her. I never did that again. Oh, a job well done, Harry. That was your yearbook? Yeah, my yearbook. Wow, boy, that person died now. I'd want to be down here, near the tomb. Mm -hmm. Look, this guy's name was Oki Gay. They didn't finish his, uh, He's not dead. Well, they're, but they're predicting he's going to die soon, aren't they? All right, they're not giving him to the year 2000. Yeah. Wow, that's kind of harsh. <laughs> what if he lives to be 100? Then they they'll, have to, they'll have to correct that. Then they smooth the granite. Well, I hope they're not wheeling him out here at this point. <laughs> I did. Like, what is this guy? This is somebody who couldn't really afford a headstone. <laughs> so they just took a big rock. 
Is there anything inscribed? Nope. Charlie Brown. I got a rock. I got a rock. This guy got a rock. Probably huh. a story behind it. Where did he used to uh, help farm them? Out in this area somewhere. It was out here somewhere. I like it. I never saw all those horses here. Where Teddy lives? Big house back there. Big house. Oh, well, you need a big house for Teddy. Oh. Thank God that he is. Now there are yeah. computers. Yeah. This is all Grandpa Yeager's place. Part of this was Grandma's. Well, this could have been yours. Could have been ours. Part of it, yeah. But it is. Because I, I'm allowed to come on it all the time. That's close enough for me. As long as no one forbids me to be on it, I don't care. Boy, Dad. Yeah, my work. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, look at these cows. That's so good. They're coming in, gals. Run if you must. But we are coming in. Man, those are big cows. I can't remember how we got in. It's like you can there. Are you sure you want to come in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Some of them don't seem like they would appreciate it. They're not bulls. They're not going to rush us. They're cows. They're just cows. Are you confident? Am I confident that they're not going to rush us? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not confident that I can get over this fence. Yeah. I don't exactly know it's how. It's wonderful way to get on here. Wonder why they're all together here. <laughs> I used to go after cows up here. When I was like, Hi, cows. Okay, I I am a relative. <laughs> <laughs> you can climb right there. It's not, but it's it. You want to climb on the other side. I'll take the camera. It's on? It's, it's fine, Dad. Kind of pressures up. Oh, you can almost sneak through there. Yeah, but... We, 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 don't, we don't want to get a loose there. Yeah. It, it was easy to climb it. Because it, it rams right up against the fence. Climbing. Don't hurt your groin. Oh! Hmm. You gotta get this viewfinder fixed. Is it off? Uh, it, yeah, but it, I put it back on. But okay. We're just going up on the hill, cows. Don't mind us. Watch out for cow mining. Hey, he's following. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I, the cat. Hey, <laughs> they're all fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stay there. <laughs> I don't think they want to hang around. They think we're gonna feed them. I think they do. Yeah, they're probably waiting for theater or somebody to come up. I'm going up the hill. 
I'm going up here, and I don't want you to follow me. Stay. <laughs> oh, you guys are no fair. That's my hell. <laughs> you bums. <laughs> You guys, I wanted to go up there. Well, <laughs> they... Oh no, he's pooping. <laughs> oh, they're pooping, so I won't go up there. <laughs> Damn. I hate you cows. <laughs> Dad, could you speak to the cows, please? Uh, no, they don't pay attention. Yeah, here's a disclaimer. I just want you to know something. I'm a city guy. I don't know if a cow is crawling as I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making my way towards the fence. <laughs> now they're all... You guys, I want to know why you all just ran up that hill. <laughs> and pooped all over. You're not my friends. You're supposed to be my friend. Oh, my God. That one... This, this, that's where the house was, right? It was up on that hill where those cows are pooping. And you drove up around uh, the driveway. <laughs> what year was that again? 44, I think. Maybe it's 43. And we used lesbians. You got lesbians in there. That was very scary watching those cows. I don't like how you just wanted to stand there. <laughs> <laughs> I could outrun those cows. Yeah. Don't, count on it. Huh. Don't look, man. You see how heavy those cows are? Yeah, why not? I'm talking about a mammoth turtle. You saw it up on the hill? Yeah, that's where the cows are always, always back in the way back. This is the only house that was around? Yeah. It's just in one house. Next one was just before, just after the graveyard down there. Uh, the Murphy House. Must have been difficult to build. I, I don't, I don't remember anybody ever building. I'm going up. Look at that go. Is that for cow flying? Yeah. They didn't poop on the road. To him, the old road. I am proceeding cautiously. <laughs> I do think they pooped to mark their territory. I think they pooped because they ramped the hill and they just. <laughs> you don't know where the cows are. We're going up the hill to see. <laughs> Where they are. They could be. It's not one of them. <laughs> are you protecting me? I wanna, no, I want to prove I can go up the hill. You can take care of yourself. <laughs> I'll protect you. I don't know how to protect you against a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll jump in its way, but I don't know. No, I'll just run. <laughs> yeah, you weren't. You looked like you were ready to run. That's because they weren't going to hurt us. Cows didn't want to hurt us. They wanted us to feed them. There they are. There's the cows. Are they hanging out in the living room? No, that it was up here. Uh, there, was the cows. there was a spring back there. Just stay over there for a little. There is a spring over here where all the cows are. And then and the, there was a place down here where the hogs were. We see the hogs were down in this area. And where? What area? Right down in here. Down here in the hog area. Oh, the battery's starting to go. Right. And there was another barn-like thing up here. Up where? Up where in, 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 in. It's all Newland land. Watch those cow patties. <laughs> Do you think there's still like a foundation underneath here? Or? Big 
back porch, a big front porch here and a big back porch. Hey. I'm stuck. They had a house back here where, where the meat was cured and they keep it in there. Where, where, Dad? Sorry, could you say this again? I can remember, I can remember falling in a sewage place. Grandma Yeager's, her laugh. She gave that laugh. The cows are getting ready again. I know. <laughs> I just wanted you to see the view from up here. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's worth it. Cows. <laughs> wow. We are afraid the cows are going to rush us again soon. And then they had a garden up behind here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I remember that was a cornfield up there, and we, uh, I would help hoe the corn and things like that. Occasionally, I'd hit one of the corn stalks and cut it in two and stick it back in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> if two and one were shoe polish. Two and one is shoe polish, and that was a brand. Right. And three and one was oil. He says, what's four in it? He said, somebody said, I don't know, it must be Greeks. But I said, why? And he said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Isn't it great up here? So quiet. Except for the cow noises. Oh, we feel like we're probably off. This is battle. <laughs> I can't live with myself if the cow wins. I can. No. There's more of those cows. Um, Grandpa had what? I thought he was old Mac was talking to me. Well, let's go for a spin this afternoon. I don't really want to spin. <laughs> well, I remember he had a, a John Deere. I don't know what kind. Jacket? Of, yeah, I know, I'm not sure what it's like. But, uh, He needed uh, the John Deere printed on the side from a, right. from a white piece of cloth. And I put the N upside down. When I was printing the John. Oh, that was, that was a little wrong? Yeah. Okay. Did you do it on purpose? Or did you uh, do it? Just screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> Here, sir. Do you want us to? It wouldn't change necessarily to Richmond. I don't think you guys should necessarily do it. Especially if she's still employable, which she is. That's falling, falling the bales out. Yeah. I didn't see any cars in the driveway. Now said the seven four three. She's there. Yeah, she is. But the, the big symptom is the pressure, and it. Uh, uh, I've got. To, I see him next Friday again. See if the test. But, but he says that the worst thing to probably happen, even if it is, and he didn't even say even if it is going on. He said he used glaucoma suspect so Medicare would pay for it. All right, and now that you're on film now. It is. We're keeping you forever on, on film for posterity's sake. If they've been going over the house. We're filming everything. Yes. We're getting Elkins before it changes anymore. <laughs> to Zan Alda's yard. Always Zan Alda. I'm a woman of ever-changing hair. 
Well, you're there, Ah. Where's her way? Yeah, she, she said... I said, and I'll just, I, Mark said he was worried his shirt wasn't tucked in. I said, she's not going to carry your shirt tucked in. She's going to yell at me for being bare. That's what she, she was going to say. She said you'd say something about her bare feet. She said you'd say I got him in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Here's the farm. Look at all the corn. Hey, I'm in, it's summer. I remember Clarence Yeager, but how was he related to Grandpa again? He was first cousin to him, and they married sister. Farm. Huh. Aunt Louise was his and oh. his mother were sisters. Oh, okay, yeah. And Double they cousin. still were first cousins, too. Oh, okay, cousin. so, so Louise was a polling as well. Uh, Aunt uh, Louise was, was a polling. Yeah, yeah. Kermit's helped a lot with that. Kermit's helped a lot with this stuff. He's made me interested in all of this, all the polling. Kermit polling, you know, the one who... Oh, yeah, the yeah. one who writes... Yeah, he does, yeah. Yeah, I stand on that paper where... Um, uh, Jeff had had was sick in October. I didn't know anything about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> feel free to put your eye patch back on. I was just curious. I don't want you to. If it, if it hurts your eye, to keep it oh, off. No, I knew where it has to come. Yeah. But you're probably worse. supposed to be, aren't you? But if it makes you feel more comfortable. Oh, it does. I just. First cousins, too. Oh, the, oh yeah, they were first cousins. Too. I went to Clarence Yeager. My dad were first cousins. Yeah, right. And Emma. That was now. Yeah. And they married sisters. That's for this time. Yeah. Okay. So they were double Where's cousins. your shorts, Cindy? My shorts? Yeah. Uh, I don't got nothing on under here. I wear dresses. <laughs> this is my style. That's your style. It is. I don't wear shoes. You don't like this. But it doesn't matter because I'm the boss and I got to get you on film forever. I'll take my flowers over here. Okay. We'll see Gladys. Get over there with Dad. Get over there with Gladys. You guys are in there. Mark, here you are. Forever. We'll do Zoom. Zooming in. We're Zooming. This will be recorded. Yes. Speak for the camera, Gladys. If you don't have a lot to say, it's difficult. Gladys isn't going to talk. Okay. We're Zooming back. Zooming back. Where's the flowers? There we go. Gladys. This is Gladys' house in Elkins, West Virginia. Forever on film. And there's my husband. Here is a tree. Dick Pritt lived up there. Here's the street. <laughs> we drive around in this sometimes. Okay, this is the beginning of the walking tour of the house in Elkins. There it is. You can see it. It's kind of hard to see it through here. 715 Red Map. Yard to the left. The rest of the block. This is that's our yard. These houses are now turned in. It's very, very small. So we see her to the right of the house. This is my first house. I'm going home right now. Nobody lives there either. They take weeks to houses. Beautiful streets there. And it's not. Beautiful streets there. Beautiful streets there. Beautiful streets there. Just across the street. Very busy street now. It's slow right now. It's about 7 30 in the morning. And what is the date today? Oh, it's not January 1st, 1993. It's very nice. Day. Today is. Today, I don't even know. June 13th. June 13th. Today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It used to all be a brick sidewalk. Yeah, the yard. I just leave that room up there, I don't know. Come over in. 
two of my favorite addicts. It's a great house. Yesterday, I'm cool. It's been seven and five. Who are you talking to? Who's Daddy? You have those slippers? Dad slippers I'm missing. <laughs> Pantry and now it's bathroom. These bricks, Patricia, I want them, but I know they're yours. What was it? I'll go. But uh, I'm pretty certain they didn't make these when Dad was a kid. Makes me think they're yours. It's a door, like a garage door. Putting them back in the closet. Okay. You're surveying the house now, right? I am surveying the house, so I don't know if you want to wait till you're into your program here. Tradition, a part of our American heritage, and this is one of the living things to change a bit. I completely agree with Joe, nice and TV. you made me think uh, for a moment. Well, is that the way you describe it? One of the living rooms? That's like two books. living rooms? Yeah, Don't yeah. you think? What is this room? Probably. I, of course, I'm used, used the other room used to be the dining room. Right? Oh, that used to be the dining room? Yeah, that was the dining room. See, I never knew it as a dining room. Um, Always been too late. Mm -hmm. This chair, um, I'd like you to make sure this chair is filmed. It was filmed. Uh, this chair, you weren't allowed to sit in this chair as children. He was, uh, and here I am, so at 31, sitting on it. Naturally, when Only because Aunt Katie isn't here. Because Aunt Katie's got it. That's the picture that Mary wants. She's been there forever. The orange bulbs. It's the front of the house. Great woodwork. It's the wash stand. The wash stand. This is the secret compartment. And I just saw a bug in there. Yeah. Show you the fine craftsmanship. I think that in shop. Ooh. This is a cool staircase. This step right here. The noisy step. Dad said this is the noisy step. He would skip it. So that nobody's here and come in. We need to tell us a little about these rooms. Very much I can tell you. Yes, you can. No, <laughs> right. not, that, not that you don't know. Anyway. But you're better. Tell us about this room and who all's lived in it. Who all's lived in this room? 
I don't know. I know that uh, it, it's been my room. It's been mom's room. It was a room that was uh, part of an apartment up here that was sort of used by a family called Ray's. And uh, there was also a service couple. Clayton's, Clayton and Mary Sieber, I think, lived here during the uh, uh, World War II era for a couple of years when they were here with the maneuver area. Wasn't there a stove? Didn't somebody, didn't Anna Alda tell us there was actually oh, there, like cooking? Like oh you yeah, could there, actually cook yeah, this was the kitchen part of it at that point in time. It's very important to get these. These were dad's shoes. There's a hole, like you can see. They're still here. Dad's feet for once this small. And when I was uh, in this room as a teenager, there was a gas stove over here, which uh, during the winter, my mother would come up in the morning and uh, I light the stove so it would be warm when I got up. Wow. That's nice. Who's that, Dad? That's, uh, that was taking a student council picnic uh, back in 1946. That was it. One of the, the teachers in the school, the, probably the most attractive teacher. That that picture was uh, presented to me at the 45th reunion. And what's her name? What's that teacher's name? Marguerite Starford. Okay. Okay. Go to another room. Oh, we're going to go up into the attic? Yeah. A lot of time in his attic. What can you tell us about this attic, Dad? Very little. As I said, Cindy can. Cindy knows more about this attic than I do, having explored it extensively. This is true. There was a lot of stuff in this attic. It's dwindling. But this whole type I don't know whether the camera takes a picture of this room. Sure. Is there enough light here? Sure. There is. But the, this was a uh, this construction here was was done by my uh, by dad, and I lived in this room for a, a period of time. One of many rooms that dad lived in. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't recall at all how long I lived here. There's actually a huge space behind this wall here because I opened up the little trap door in here. And I noticed that there's tons of space back there that I hadn't really noticed before. And there's a little secret door over here too. A lot of secret little doors in this house. That's where I thought my sea bag was, but yeah, but we opened it up and it's it's just. But there's your uh, your your. Oh. This is his trunk. Your trunk. His navy trunk. That wasn't mine. Oh, whose is this? I, I don't know. Must, must Who's in the army? Huh? Isn't that an army thing? This thing. That's Ray's. He was oh, Ray's. Ray's. It says Ray's trunk. Uncle Ray. Put this back to the fence. Okay. So be it. <laughs> now I have my screen. It's great here. As kids, you can see down from the downstairs through this grate. So we used to watch people come in the front. Uh -oh. Downstairs. Okay, whose room was this? Here we are in the twin bed. Oh, this is a this has been a number of people's rooms again. Uh, For instance. And I, I I can't I don't recall I, I don't recall people who lived here that that vividly. Long. And Katie lived here for a while. Sure. Trisha Moffat lived in this room. This is a very great chair. You should film. Isn't it pretty? Keep noticing the woodwork. The lovely woodwork. Dad used to live in this room, too. It's got the best... I don't think I ever lived in this room, though. No? No, I don't recall living here at all. We 
give out to Miss Flores' children. And I still love them. As a kid. Do you think this floor was always in here, Dad? No, I think it was done after Patricia was born. Really? Yeah. I'd say it wasn't here beforehand. And she was born in the 40s, right? She was born in forty-two. This is the room that once had the wardrobe and the desk. We have now taken. Sorry. And Katie's room. I remember living in this room too as a kid. And, and, and Katie lived here as well. Together? Yeah. You lived in this room? Yeah. <clears throat> Which was the room that uh, your parents lived in when. Wow, that's a good question. Oh, they, they lived uh, at one time in the in the room which I was born downstairs. For the piano. But, uh, I, I've forgotten. I've forgotten where mom and dad live. But this was Aunt Katie's room most recently. That picture up there. My mom. It's funny, I never think about your parents yeah, living with each other in this house. Right, I, I don't either. Here's the bathroom. It goes through the hallway. This was the only bathroom in this house until recently. Until 87. But I think when, when mom and dad lived in that room downstairs, I think I lived there also during that period of time. You lived there with them? In with that them, room? yeah. Three of us were there. And there were boarders living in the other room. There were right? boarders living in the other room. Is that an old like wash pan? I don't think that's all that old. I, I don't know. I have no idea. That's a front attic. We're not going up there. It's scary. I mean, the back attic. Yeah. It's very dirty. We'll go down the back way. Back down to the kitchen. That's Uncle Ray. Did you get him? Did I get Uncle Ray? I never think of him as Uncle Ray. Yes. But he wasn't your uncle. I know, but I, I've never heard him referred to as Uncle Ray. Well, but, I always yeah. refer to him as Uncle Ray. Well, wasn't even right. Not that I ever knew him. Yeah, that's right. He died in the 50s? He died in uh, 1948. Trisha sure was only six. Big closet. What'd you eat mostly when you were a I kid? Always, I always think of this room as a uh, as, as Aunt Katie's so. Yeah. Maybe because of most recently. What did I want? What'd you guys used to eat mostly when you were kids and you were young and you were kind of poor? No meat. That's no, what I remember. Yeah. No meat. No lentils. Lots of potatoes, right? Remember, uh, remember mush. You used to have mush. I wonder what mush is. Yeah, I can't explain. No meat. Menus, I don't remember that much. I remember you telling me though that you ate a lot of potatoes. As uh, one thing we did have was meatloaf. You did? Yeah. Okay. Like my senior boy of the month right up in high school indicated that I learned to love women and meatloaf. <laughs> There's another secret door over here. What's that electronic thing? Um, I don't know. Junk. I've locked it all. Junk. No two track recorders in there. See, there was a door here. Say this is our pile. Hey! Oh! And it opens again. Can you hit? No, I just shut him in. Oh. <laughs> but here we are in the kitchen again. We mostly sat at this table. Where you had lunch. Breakfast. You had much of the, the and Katie always sat there. I know. Yeah. But that's all recent history. Yeah. yeah. That's our history. Our right. History. You said there used to be a furnace right here. But now there's this. A, a furnace uh, great, so to speak. That, yeah. I, I would stand there in the morning to get warm and turn the turn the furnace on. 
Did that come up from the coal bin that you showed us in the basement yesterday? Yeah, it came up from the furnace. Oh, there was a furnace in the basement in it. And Katie liked boosters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Getting a lot of them. A lot of them are in the windows. That's Janet. And even though we've stressed that a lot of people have lived here, I don't, I don't really recall that vividly. I, it seems to me that the, that there weren't that many people here, even though when you really stop thinking about it, I know there were. Particularly when I started talking about three of us living in one room. And, uh, right. but I, don't, I don't recall that, that vividly. And the tickets to the room that you were born in, that's the only one I don't think we've seen. Have we gotten the pantry? Oh, yeah. Okay. Swear it off you can. And ultimately, we have to get a plaque for this room for the <laughs> National Historic Register. I was uh, born in this room. Mm -hmm. Good room. This is a room in which uh, it's the only one I can remember that mom and dad share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I think I was in here at the, at the time also. But I remember coming home on boot leave, or during the time that I was in the Navy, and I would uh, I would spend the night in this room. And how old were you when your dad time, died? By that time, Dad was dead, of course. But when did he die? Dad died in uh, 43. Right after Patricia was born. Yeah, she was just a baby when he died. Cool old radio here. The radio was uh, purchased by me to some extent after when I was at, when I was discharged from the Navy. I think it cost about one hundred and fifty dollars. I know that I put a hundred on it. My my sister paid for the balance, but she did that with a number of things that for me back in those years. I paid five dollars on my college ring, and she she spent the other twenty five. Hmm. You consider her a generous woman, are you? Precisely, yeah, very much so. She was a defender of her brother. She was quite a big sister. She was ten years old, yeah. so she could take good care. Of her. What can you tell us about that little step there, Dad? That little. This. That little step I remember particularly as a kid when I got a, a little green car for a Christmas present. I must have been, I don't know, five, six, seven. That you rode in and or that, that you put? That I rode in. That I rode in. Pushing the pedals. And I had trouble getting over that obstacle. It's quite a big step. <laughs> the car didn't have that much power. Either that or my legs didn't have that much power. Did you play basketball in here? I think we know you did. <laughs> Tell us about it. Obviously, I had a, I had a, uh, just a little uh, basket, a container for trash that I would put over by this door, and I uh, would roll up a toboggan uh -huh. and shoot it, and shoot it from this angle. And needless to say, I was quite accurate. <laughs> of course. Now a toboggan is. I was supposed well, the toboggan was a, a sled. Watch cap. Watch cap. You would call a watch it. cap. Yeah. It was a toboggan back in that in those years. If we have the film, I'd like to go in the basement. I think we do. Let's. Scary. Where the Hoosier used to be against that wall. It's gone. It's where the furnace was, right, Dad? Right no, there? the furnace was over here. Oh, where was the furnace? Oh, right here. Oh, oh, is this where the furnace was? 
you got the support. Okay, see, here's this door. I just look. The door goes to the outside. I remember coming through here when we were little kids because it was kind of fun, it was sort of like a fort down there. And there was the coal bin. Yeah, my memories of this room are strictly of the of the furnace and, and and my labor during my teenage years. We had a coal bin over here that I would fill from the room in which the coal was. So when it got low, I had to fill it here so that... Okay, so the coal bin was over here. Yeah. That's the room where they dumped the coal. And then the coal, this is where the coal was. Now, was there a chute that came from outside? Uh, yeah, a truck had to, to back in there and put the... There wasn't a chute. It was just a window. And I present this window still there. Sure. Yeah, right. So they would simply take out the window and pour in a couple of tons of coal or whatever. That's where the coal was. And then I carried the coal from this point to the bin beside the furnace. And then one more bin. We should have too bad we have a flashlight so we can see the dates that are inscribed here on the, the concrete. Where on yeah. the concrete? I, I, that's probably where you're standing. Because I did there. buy a little flashlight yesterday. And it's up in here. I just. I never knew. This is the washing machine. I'd like to document its place right here in this room. I want this. <laughs> this is pretty much just a workroom back here. Yep. They're looking for any ins oh, inscriptions. Not there, see Very sip delicious or something? Oh, what is that? Every sip delicious. What the hell is that? All right, keep that light shining in there, okay? Yeah. There's a big shovel. The dates there. I'm referring to. What? Look, there are shovels like this was where the cult, like, see all these cool shovels? It's like. There's an old, old bat. bat. I need that light again. Oh, sorry. The jar is on it. I think, I think a lot of, Dad was doing a lot of digging prior to his death. Right. A destruction sort of thing. And uh, some of this work would, may not have been done by him at all. And there's, that, that's the coal bin. Where I am? Yeah, the one you have your right hand on. This is the coal bin? Yeah, I think so. It looks like it would be a coal bin. Yeah. There's tons of like mason jars here. They don't have their lids anymore. Wow. Well, mommy still do a lot of canning. Right. What do you think was every sip delicious? Is there a product? It's hundred percent pure. It says on this side of it. Can't see what it says on this side. I think it says every sip delicious again, and it's like nailed to the wall. What is, um, see where that, the varnish paint thing is? Varnish stain? What's, yeah. what's right behind it? What's that? It's got nails in it. It's a toolbox. Yeah, it's like a part of, it's part of a toolbox. Definitely. Maybe you and Missy be the archaeologist. Here it is. Looks like these are my initials. H W. H 
HW, October, September, October. HW, October. 24th. 24th. You didn't put a year. I may have. I don't think there's Can you get some water? Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 See, this is a nine. One nine. It's definitely twenty-four. One nine. But then it's hard to see again. <laughs> we know it's there, right? Yep. I don't know what year I did. I, the, the only the only corresponding date, HW was what I used as my initials back now. I know because on the garage that we had or the barn that was down there, I had inscribed HW forty two, and this could have been in the same could have been the same year. And and why did you do that? I have no earthly idea. <laughs> Just remember that you did. Kind of cool down here. Stubby was there. <laughs> I didn't know that was my initials, but I remember that thing. But there's something in sky. Yeah. There it is. That's the basement. Fine, Miss uh, Dr. White, first driver. A little pot. Clay. Another one, but this one is actually full of petrified dirt. <laughs> I'm going to get it out. Wash my. Wow, that still room was fun. Look at all those mason jars. There were a bunch of mason jars in there. And if I ever want more mason jars, I certainly know where I can get them. Do you remember? I, I forgot the canning stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because I developed a, a taste for hot tomatoes when mom was canning hot tomatoes. Where did she use that Hoosier? When it was here, was it in the kitchen? It was here? here. It was right there. It was right here. But the cabinets were always here. Right? It was there, right? Yeah, yeah. The cabinets have always been here, obviously. Wow. So the stove doesn't work anymore, apparently. Well, the stove well, the does. Stove does. The, the, the oven does. The oven is bad. The oven's yeah. bad. It's probably just the temperature isn't right. That's right. gas, right? Yes. So maybe the line is. Uh, excuse me. Banana belch. <laughs> mm -hmm. When we were growing up as kids, in this cupboard right here, there were always Pringles. Oh, yeah. Pringles, right in there. Always. We ate them a lot. That's something I remember. Where 24th was the day before mom's birthday. Hmm. This wasn't always paneled in here either. That says. It used to be I, the Burnside stove is my vivid memory here. And what was what was it about this thing that you said was? So there was sort of a flu over here, and what there was there was contained some things on the on the right over here. here. No, right in here. Right in here. Yeah. It's a shame there weren't more pictures of the inside of the house when you were young, you know, but they're yeah, outside. home on the bus and I got off down by the hospital but I didn't want anybody to see me as I came in the front door and and on that bus were some people who worked with mom at the at the hospital and they told mom that I would think your son is home on food leave or from from the Navy and I was standing here after having been home for about 20 minutes Mom came in the front door, and 
very emotional moment. Not emotional then. Take emotional now. I get choked just just thinking about it. What'd she call you? Because she called me Bud. But, uh, Bud, always. But then she told me in later years that uh, after I left the Navy, she cried for the first thirty nights. But I, I have I can I can see mom in so many places. Well, fact, it's my sister as well. But, uh, in this house. She loved him. And then there are unpleasant memories. I wouldn't even want on tape. See ya. <laughs> but mostly pleasant. You forget the bad things associated with dad. Gotta have it. Although I remember what Michael Elber was saying here. And, uh, and Grandpa's brother. He was, he was sort of a town drunk. 